All right, scholars, thanks for tuning in again. Got a question for you. What uses more energy when being used, a hairdryer or a DVD player? Pause the video and write down your answer choice on your electric power notes page. Let's check out your answer. Hair dryer equals 1200 watts of power, DVD player 30 watts. If you said number one hair dryer, definitely, you are correct. Question number two, what uses more energy, using a hair dryer for three minutes or a DVD player for 30 minutes? Go ahead and write down your vote, pause the video. All right, let's take a look at the numbers. Hair dryer, 1200 watts times three minutes equals 3,600 units of energy. DVD player, 900 units of energy. The hair dryer uses four times more energy when it's used or per typical use. Third question, do DVD players use energy even when they're not being used? You see a DVD player just sitting there, maybe blinking its lights. When it's doing that, it is using power at an average rate of about 8 watts. What is it using the energy for? Maybe it's telling you the time of day. Maybe it's sitting there waiting for your signal from the remote control. That little 8 watts might not seem like much. It's only 8 joules per second. But multiply that times the entire day, and they can really add up. Let's take a look at how it adds up. So we already know it takes 900 watts to use for 30 minutes. What about all the other minutes of the day? That's 1,410 minutes to give us 24 hours at a rate of 8 watts. 11,280 units of energy, giving us a total of 12,180 units of energy per day. Less than 10% of that from when we were actually using it. What a waste of energy. This is why we call DVD players and other devices like this vampire devices. They suck energy even when they're just sitting there waiting to be used. And the hair dryer, in comparison, only 3,600 per day. Okay, now we're going to go to back to your electric power notes. We're going to take a look at what's called an energy audit.